Let's draw hyperbola by using asymptotes method. The given question is like this. Draw a hyperbola when its asymptotes are inclined at 60 degrees to each other. Here asymptotes means these are the axes like x-axis, y-axis. But these two axes are making 60 degrees to each other. So uh, if we are taking one is horizontal axis, the another axis is making 60 degrees with the another one. Okay. So these two axes are there. Here we are taking one P point. The P point is at a distance of 40 mm and 50 mm from the asymptotes. Here we are taking, here we are taking 50 mm distance. Here we are taking 40 mm distance. So how to mark this point? We have to draw the line parallel to this. Here at 40 mm we have to do the line parallel to this. Okay. The intersection point is P point. After getting P point, we have to do the hyperbola which is passing through the given P point. Okay. Let us start. First we will do the asymptotes which are making 60 degrees. First do the horizontal line okay, of any length. Take one horizontal line of some length and after that take 60 degrees line. Join this point to this point to this point for getting the inclined line. Now take the intersection point is O point. These are making 60 degrees with each other. Mark the P point. As we know P is 5 cm 4 cm from this asymptotes at 5 do the line. Take 5 cm on this axis. Okay. Do here one parallel line, parallel to this. For doing the parallel line, I am using this roller scale. So it is easy for doing the parallel lines. So I am keeping this scale, which is coinciding this line. And then move this scale and do one parallel line here. Okay. And then take this P point is from this asymptote 4 cm. From this O, take 4 cm point. Now at this point, do the line which is parallel to this. Okay. Now the intersection point is P point here. I will mark. I will give the names of these asymptotes. This axis is OA axis. This axis is OB axis. I am taking this name of this axis is CD axis. And this is EF. We can give any name. Okay. And this is uh, intersection point of two asymptotes is P. Okay. Which are making 60 degrees. After marking P point. Here we have to take some points. These points are not necessary at the equal distance. Okay, we can take any number of points at any distance from P point. Okay, without measuring we can take, I am taking 4 points on this axis like this. Okay, so not necessary equal distance. Okay, we can take at any number of points, any distance we can take. Similarly, here also take some points. Okay, here I am taking 4 points I am taking here. I am taking here some 5 dash. We can take 5, 6, 7 like that also. 5 dash, 6 dash. 7 dash, 8 dash like that. Okay. After getting these points, join these points to O. Okay. After joining these points to O, take the intersection points of this line and this axis. Here I am taking this is 1 dash. Okay. And for the second O2 line, the intersection point of this axis is 2 dash. For second line, take 2 dash. For third line, take the intersection point is 3 dash. For the fourth line, take 4 dash. So in this asymptotes method, at 1, do one line parallel to this. At 1 dash, do one horizontal line parallel to this asymptotes. Okay, let us do. At 1 dash, do the parallel line like this. And at 1, do the line parallel to this. Okay. 
we will get the intersection point i am taking this is p1 point okay p1 is one of the point of hyperbola okay. similarly at 2 also do the line parallel to this and at 2 dash do the line parallel to this horizontal line or we can take here take this intersection point is p2 point similarly at third point also take the line parallel to this and at 3 dash line parallel to this take the intersection point P3. Similarly, at 4, do the line parallel to this till the scale at 4. Just do the line at 4 dash, do the horizontal line. After getting these points, now join all these points to O. Now take the intersection points here, phi dash intersection point with this axis is phi. So 6 dash line intersection point with this axis is 6 and next for 7 dash 7, for 8 dash 8. For getting these points, okay, we have to find points like this. Okay, For getting the points like this, here we have to at phi dash, we have to do the line parallel to this axis. And from phi, we have to take parallel line to this. Okay, we will get the intersection point is P5. Let us do. I will do with this. At phi dash, we have to do the parallel line. And at phi, we have to do the line parallel to this. Just till this roller scale for getting the parallel line. Just do the line here. The intersection point is P5. So for P6, just do the a line here parallel to this at 6 dash and uh, at 6 do the line parallel to this take the intersection point is p6 and similarly at 7 dash do the line parallel to this And then at 7, do the line parallel to this. Just we are taking the parallel lines to the asymptotes. This is P7. Here at 8 dash, do the line, horizontal line. At 8, do the line parallel to this. getting all p points this side and this side join all these p points through p okay we will get the hyperbola This is the required hyperbola. Here we need to mark the given dimension. P dimensions are given. It is 50 and 40 from two asymptotes. And these dimensional lines should be parallel to the main lines. 
okay and here these two asymptotes are making 60 degrees angle that's why this method is called oblique asymptotes method if this angle is 90 degrees in the previous class we did okay asymptotes angle is 90 degrees this method is called orthogonal asymptotes method and here because of this angle this method is called oblique asymptotes method